Under Facebook, have you taken advantage of like the memory button where it brings up memories? I haven't. Oh, I, I didn't love know how, doing but, uh, it. There's I like a, it yeah. on this day feature, and it will bring up certain things that have happened. And a lot of times for me, my early Facebook days was commenting on the riders. Oh yeah, yeah. And so. I, I think I'm going to probably alarm some people with just how my brain works here. Because uh, 11 years ago, July 20th, 2007, at 10 p.m., I uh, Facebook posted, having to shake my head in disgust at the riders tonight. <laughs> now, as a rider fan, <laughs> let's face it, we probably have had to shake our heads time and time and time and time and time again. Yep. Now, I've intentionally, as soon as I open my Facebook a window here. I've kept it on this page. <laughs> I'm trying to do this to convince Scott that I think I know exactly what happened in this game without actually having to look uh, it up. To look it up, exactly. So, Scott, you found some highlights. I think it was. I did. Yes. Kind of remind yourself of the game story of loading yep, up the yep. Riders season that year and what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I was so ticked off at the Riders in this game. They had one heck of a great first half. Mm -hmm. Something like 21 to 1 or 20 to 1, I think was the halftime score. 20 to 1. 20 yeah. to 1. Yeah. Uh, that last 20 to 1, the last touchdown before that, I believe, was a Jason Armstead punt return <laughs> touchdown. Right? Yes, it was. <laughs> The Riders then, like I said, having to shake his head in disgust at the Riders, yeah. they choked it. They choked. In Commonwealth Stadium, where the Riders never, ever win, looked like they were finally going to do it. But no, three touchdowns by Ricky Ray and Edmonton stole from us. Yeah. A one-point victory? Yep. <sighs> off. Now... It forced the Riders into a 2-2 two and two record. Yep. Coming off now a loss against BC at home, Edmonton on the road. Yep. They then, I want to say, they go back and play Edmonton the very next week and stomp them. Yep. Something like 54-14. to 14. Correct. <laughs> okay, then they go on the road. They beat BC. Yep. They beat Toronto. Uh-huh. Then they come back and beat Edmonton. Yeah. The Lightning Bowl on August 18th, 2007. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I'm not far off here. Nope. Then they also beat Winnipeg. In yep. that draw, uh, Kerry Joseph, legendary Labor Day classic oh, draw, yeah, winning right. touchdown. Yep. Uh, then they spin out of control, lose three straight games. Correct. Uh, Banjo Bowl, want to say also a game against BC and Calgary. Yeah, they got doubled up by Calgary. There. Yeah, yeah. And then they turn it around, they win five in a row, lose a meaningless uh, regular season finale against the Toronto Argonauts. Mm -hmm. Then they come back. Beat your Calgary Stampeders with the DJ Flick touchdown on the first play of the game, which was actually our only touchdown that whole entire game. It was very nerve-wracking. Then the Riders upset the BC Lions in BC Place, the 14-3-1 BC Lions, I might add. Then, of course, that legendary Grey Cup game against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. That's right. Three interceptions by James Johnson. And the Riders pick up that win thanks to, well, Ryan Dinwiddie playing and not Kevin Glenn, because that could have been a completely different story. Uh, once again, uh, Scott, can you confirm to the best of your knowledge, did I look up any of that information? No, you didn't. Uh, I, I'm very skeptical sometimes, so uh, you know what? Uh, he's he's absolutely right. Okay. He didn't even have his phone near it. Uh, no, it's charging off in the corner. It's charging over in the corner. Now, ask me so. what my wife asked me to pack before leaving today, before we go on a trip. <laughs> what did she ask you to pack? I forget. <laughs>